I should be doing the, the that polar bear challenge, but I have to do some things today and I have to do it quickly, so I'm on the bike. It is minus five, which is uh, what, 23, 24 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's kind of cold out there, but I got stuff to do and I got to do it fast, so I got to be on the bike. Let's just hope it starts. This bike does not like to start when it's cold. Well, this is what the day has become. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This is really kind of dangerous to ride a motorcycle in this weather. I'm only a few blocks away. Maybe if I go really, really carefully <clears throat> and maybe even walk, you know, kind of straddle the bike and walk it a little bit in the dangerous parts, we'll see how it goes. Might have a spill. But that'll make for good video. <sighs> I got down the hill by keeping my feet splayed out to the side and using them as skis. But when I got down here, it's pretty slick and I eventually I tipped over right here. So, I just parked the bike over there. I'll come get it when I can. It's quite a thing. December 12th. Big snowstorm. Oh, that was bound to happen. They don't put ash or salt on the roads, so they stay slippery. Until, until the ice evaporates, it's slippery. It's not gonna evaporate today. That's up to the university gate there. This is the intersection that I video quite often. It's an unregulated intersection and it is slippery. And visibility is low. This is risky. Uh, these people, once, once somebody goes, they're all gonna go. Oh man, I am so glad I didn't come out here in traffic. Um, I knew I had to, uh, I had to see the road to see, but, uh, to tell if I could ride on it, but I knew if I had brought my bike down here, man, oh, this looks like there was a little accident, a little bender there, fender bender. Uh, I'm not holding this very well, my hands are freezing. Anyway, that's our first snowstorm of the season. And I had to abandon my motorcycle and walk home. The delivery scooters are out. But he was driving very carefully. I didn't realize. You can see here, um, um, Sam and I, we ordered something over at the office from one place. And it took a long time to get it. And now we realize he was uh, a delivery scooter. And we didn't know the weather was like this at all. So, I feel kind of bad. We made them come out in this weather, but they're getting by. They're doing the same thing I was doing, using their, their feet as skis. Uh, I dropped the bike over there at the university gate. And I, I didn't want to take that hill down into traffic because uh, what if I hadn't been able to stop myself? It would have been awful, so. That's why I left the bike where I did. And if the temperature, when it stops, when the storm stops, maybe tomorrow and the temperature rises a little bit, maybe the mid to upper 30s, I'll go over and, and get the bike because maybe a, a drier path will be cleared through the snow by then. And the delivery guys do double duty, shoveling and delivering. Oh, uh, that's the post office. That's the mailman right there. Put both your feet down, guy. You can see my um, co-worker, Mike. He got his bike back in time before all this mess started. There's a word for people like me, but I go with um, spaztard. That's the nicest thing. Um, we were all given secret Santas at the office. I was Secret Santa for Mike and I forgot all about it and 
I was the only person in the office who forgot about it. So I got a I got to get a Christmas present, a nice one to make up for it. Uh.